Okay, but does Freebeat actually make music? Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Ringo Jam. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. So the channel has started to grow a lot faster than uh, it used to. We now average about a thousand new subscribers a month, which is crazy. Uh, the channel has doubled in size, more than doubled in size, just since the end of last summer. And I am so grateful for that. However, with an influx of new subscribers comes new questions. And one question I've started to get very frequently is, okay, you've got all this tutorial content and kind of uh, like walkthrough content and some jams, but do you actually have music that you've made? And uh, the short answer is yes, I have one EP, two albums, and I am currently working on a third album, an all pocket operator concept album, actually. So today I'm just going to give you a little overview of the music that I have created, should you want to go listen to it. And if you do want to go listen to it, by the way, you can find a link to my Bandcamp page in the description of every single video on this channel. Well, every single video that I've uploaded in the past two years, I guess. There you can listen to the music for free, and if you really like it, you can buy it for a couple dollars. And what the heck, since I'm doing a bit of a shameless self-promotion, if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so at patreon.com slash freebeat, which is uh, also linked in the description. That starts at as little as just $1 a month, and at that $1 a month tier, you actually get access to a few features, but most notably uh, the Freebeat patron-only Discord server, which is a lot of fun. We've got a great community of people over there, and uh, it's just a great place to hang out. So if that sounds interesting, to you, yeah, one dollar a month. Anyway, let's talk about some music. So back in May of 2020, I released my first ever music under the name of Freebeat, and uh, it came in the form of an EP called "An American Workplace." It's a spinoff of the subtitle for the documentary in The Office, uh, what they wind up making it at the end there. And the reason I called it that is because I made the entire EP on the PO24 office. This remains one of my favorite projects that I've ever done uh, anywhere in my music career. It was a really cool experience to have to work within the confines of this little device. That's why I wound up developing my uh, note chart for The Office. And uh, yeah, it was just a great experience. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. It was a lot of fun to make. And uh, yeah, like I said, remains one of my favorite projects. <laughs> Next up, in July of 2020, I released my first ever album, which was called In Over My Head, and it was written, recorded, and produced entirely on the Teenage Engineering OPZ. This was my first experience ever releasing an actual album. It was a little bit on the short side, uh, but it was still a pretty daunting project to uh, take on. It took me about four months to make, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. It can be a little dry in places. I needed some more effects on there, um, but this was really at the beginning of my electronic music journey. In my opinion, there are two standout tracks on this album. Album, though the first one is track four uh, called mystery hour and it's got this kind of like spooky reggae vibe to it Fun fact, I like that song so much, I think it's still on here. Yeah. <laughs> 
The other standout song on In Over My Head has kind of gone on to become a fan favorite and a theme for the channel, Ghost in the Galaxy. recognize the bass line from this song as the intro uh, little ditty from all the videos. Now at this time we also started doing the Freebeat live concert series which uh, that was right when the pandemic was kind of you know coming into full force and we wanted to bring live music to all the Freebeat subscribers so we did live stream concerts and we really tried to treat them like full-blown concerts with light shows and some comedic elements. We did a whole bunch uh, in 2020 and 2021. They were a lot of fun, and we are actually planning another one this summer for the release of my Pocket Operator album. At these concerts, I'm usually behind my drum set, and I will play through uh, some of my music and interact with the chat. They're completely free, they're a lot of fun, and I hope to see you all at uh, the upcoming one this summer. We haven't announced a date yet, but uh, that should be coming hopefully by the end of this month. The announcement, anyway, is coming at the end of this month. And then, last October, I released my second album called FB1, which was written entirely on the OP1. This was also the first time I ever used Ableton to finish songs uh, to the best of my ability anyway, like mix-wise and with uh, some help from a few effects. But all the music was written on the OP1. Uh, I actually picked this up up in September, I think, of 2021, and I released the album on October 30th, uh, 2021, so I only had about a month to come up with these eight tracks, and that's just how much I fell in love with the OP1. It was an awesome experience writing this album. I have very fond memories of sitting on the couch and laying in bed and still being able to work with what felt like at the time a full DAW, and it is it still feels like a very full fleshed out workstation to me. I love this thing. One interesting fact is that I have never played any of the FB1 songs live before because the last live show we did was uh, in July of 2021, and the album didn't come out till October, so you can bet that you're going to hear some of the FB1 songs live for the very first time if you tune in to the upcoming live stream concert. A couple of my favorite tracks on this album are The Last Two, Parting Gift, and Kind of My Thing. I really like the uh, synth solo in Kind of My Thing. <laughs> And in Parting Gift, I was actually able to record my bass guitar uh, into the OP-1 and use it as a track, which was a lot of fun.
So there you have it, uh, the two albums and the EP that I have currently available for you to listen to. If you want to go check them out on Bandcamp, uh, that would be much appreciated. Of course, you don't have to. I'm sure some of you were just wondering if I've made music, not necessarily if you want to go listen to it. (laughs) I'm not claiming any of it to be good or anything like that. I definitely have sort of a weirder style, I think. Uh, But if you do listen to it, hopefully you enjoy it. If not, that's okay too. Kind of just like this video. If you did enjoy it, you can leave a thumbs up. If not, if you don't like the self-promotion, leave a thumbs down. That's totally fine. I get it. I don't like self-promotion. That's why I don't really make videos like this, maybe only once or twice a year. Either way, though, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. If this is the first video that you've stumbled onto from the channel, I'm sorry. The other ones are better, I promise. <laughs> I do release new content every single day, so ringing that little notification bell will tell you when it drops, even though it's at the same time every day, 5 p.m. PST. Thank you all so very much for watching the videos and helping the channel continue to grow and being my main source of inspiration for when I do make music. You are all the best. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.